Hello, I'm Darren Michael, professor of acting and directing here at Austin Peay State University. And today we're joined by Kitty Harville, artist and co-founder of Artists and Biologists for Nature. She joins us from her Clarksville home. So Kitty, what's your story? Uh, my story, well, my story in wildlife art um, started really in 2004. It started around the time of my mother's passing. I thought that since um, she was 46 when she started her art career, that I was 46 when she passed away, and I thought it was time for a new career for me. I'd had a career in commercial art. So I thought wildlife photography would be my next career. But after two years of that in Brazil, photographing in Brazil, I um, decided to take a photograph I'd, I'd taken of a giant river otter in the Pantanal, and I took out a piece of pastel paper and got my pastels out, and my hand literally flew all over the paper. And at the end of that, I had a finished painting, and I realized that that was really my new career would be in wildlife art. And my husband, Christoph, as a nature conservation leader uh, in Brazil, pioneer in ecotourism, uh, founded Funatura in 1986. He had a lot of doors to open and windows to open wide for me in Brazil to pursue my love of, my new love of that nature, that beautiful nature. So tell me about your journey from uh, your own painting to the formation of the Facebook group and how that evolved. I had challenged myself to draw or paint for every day of the year in 2009, and I really saw just a really increase in my abilities and my artwork improved so much that a few years later I wanted to do the same thing, but not a daily challenge. I wanted to do a weekly challenge, so I looked for something, a group on Facebook, and I didn't find anything. So I decided to start my own, and I talked to Christoph about it, and I said, I think I'm going to start a Facebook group. It's going to be called the 52 Weeks Nature Painting Challenge. Uh, the first week of 2016, we had about five people that uh, did artwork from a photograph I'd taken of some white lilies for the new year. So that group went on for two years, the 52 Weeks Nature Painting Challenge, and then in um, 2016, I decided that I just really couldn't keep doing that was a lot of work every week I would post a new image and all the art would come in and I would do a collage I'd do my own painting for that week and also we had done some work some weeks for endangered species and I wanted to give more time to that so I changed it to a bun artist and biologists unite for nature and our projects last about two to three months we work with a collaborating partner either a biologist or an organization uh, working for the protection of endangered species. So now, from the three people it started with, now we have, we've, we're on our 42nd project, and we've done projects on every continent, and we have artists on every continent. We have more than a thousand members, but we have around 70 or 80 artists that typically contribute to every project. What brought you back to Clarksville? Well, in 2021, my father passed away at the age of 95, and we came home for the funeral. It was our first trip out of Brazil since the pandemic started, so I'd been there for 14 months without being able to take a trip home. It was as if the whole community just gave us a big hug. We felt so embraced. I, I'd, we had kept a home in Little Rock, Arkansas. I had moved there in 1986. But on the drive from Clarksville back to Little Rock, Christoph said, so I'm about to get my green card, and we're gonna move to Little Rock, Arkansas, and why aren't we moving to Clarksville? I said, well, that's really a very good question. <laughs> I started just kind of looking at properties, maybe just a little little condo or townhome, but this house came on the market the day we were driving back to Little Rock. So we fell in love with this and the possibilities to create art in the house because I plan to do murals on all these walls. It's been a wonderful move for us. We, we still feel that embraced feeling from the community and we feel like we have something to offer the community too, so we can be of service to this community here. We're just happy to have opportunities to give back to this community after our, after our work in Brazil. For me, the humanities help us rise to our better selves, our better angels. But in order to rise, we have to dive down into history, philosophy, religion, the creative arts. 
As a visual artist myself, I see all the disciplines, visual art, music, theater, dance, creative writing, poetry, as vehicles for greater expression for our world, uniting us as the brotherhood and sisterhood that we are. Well, Kitty, I really appreciate you sharing your story with us today, and thank you so much for joining us.